Hello and welcome to PE Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw equal circles around a regular polygon such that the circle will be touching each other and be touching one side of the polygon. So let me give you uh, a view of what, what uh, we are going to be doing, what it looks like. So let's say we have hexagon. So let me use hexagon as a rough example. You know, hexagon, it has six sides. So this is a rough sketch of what we are going to be doing. Six sides. So don't mind this my this side, okay? So how do we draw the circle of equal size? You know, equal circle around this hexagon. So where we have one circle here, we are going to be having one another circle here, another circle around this hexagon. Now, one significant thing about it is that the circle will be touching each other. Unlike this previous sketch, it's not touching each other. So we are going to be having something like this. and something like this so the circle will be touching each other so any polygon so uh, so the example i'm going to be showing you i'm going to be using now this is hexagon this is just a rough sketch of what's hexagon but this is octagon so i'm gonna have to draw the octagon to save us time so but if you don't know how to draw uh, octagon or any polygon just check the playlist on technical drawing i've done different videos showing how to draw different regular polygon so including hexagon and octagon even nonagon pentagon just check the the playlist on technical drawing you'll find the video but let's come back to this video so how do you get to draw circles of equal circle round around this octagon such that the circle will be touching each other one circle will be touching two other circles and it's be touching one side so before you get into this video proper if you are yet to subscribe to pa academy uh, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe now to this channel all right, thank you very much if you have just subscribed. If you are here to just click on it. It's just below, red, written, subscribe. So just click on it to subscribe to PA Academy and also click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button. All right, thank you very much if you've done that. All right, so now that I already have my octagon, so the next thing to do is, let me uh, give you this side. So let me call this 1.1234. And eight. So now I'm going to be joining point one to point five. So I'm going to be joining these corners. So I'll draw it out. Then I'm going to be joining point two to point six. Then point three to point seven. Then point four to point eight. So you are going to be having something like this. So this is for octagon. As me, we are dealing with hexagon. Hexagon is six sides. Remember. As me, is hexagon. You are going to be having something like this. Something like this. So now, having done this, the next thing we have to do. Is to label this line so let's just call this a b c d e f g g h so having done that what we have to do next is to so let's start with maybe let's just start with this part with this section so that means you are going to be having one circle here one circle here one circle one circle like that so now let's start with this portion so that means if you, you see this line that comes like this from point E straight to point 5 and straight down to point 4, what you are going to do is forming an angle, angle E54, angle E54. So we are going to bisect angle E54. So now with, to do that, we are going to be needing our compass. So I'll place it on point 5. And draw an arc so I will increase it so I'm trying to bisect that angle E54 
So from the point of intersection, I'll join it to this point 5. So now what we've just done to this angle E54, we are going to repeat the same thing for this angle D45. So we are going to bisect to bisect the angle D45. So with my compass again, I'll place it on this point 4. Draw an arc. So place it on this accurate touch line uh, 4 5. So from their point of intersection, which is here, I'll bring it down to point 4. Now, where this line meets the bisector, they are meeting at this point. So let me call that point, point O. Point O. So the next thing to do is to draw a line from this point O to line 4, 5. So the line will be perpendicular to line 4, 5. So to do that, I'm going to be using my set square, my 45 degree set square. So I'll adjust it till you get to point zero. So let me call this uh, point O one. So the distance from this point O to point O one represents the radius of the circle that we are going to be drawing. So I'll bring my compass. So my compass is, I'll put it on point O and set it to point O1. So it's already on point O1. And with that, I'll draw the circle. Alright. So now we already have the first circle. So now what we've just done to this part, we are going to repeat the same thing right here. So we are going to repeat the same thing. So I'm going to go through it real quick. So again, I'm going to bisect angle D43 and also bisect angle C34. So you have to be careful when you are doing it so you don't make some uh, mistake that will affect everything so if you're already finding value in this video uh, please click on the subscribe button if you are yet to and also give this video a thumbs up So I've just bisected this particular angle, so let me go to the next one. So when you are working with more sides, so you have to be very careful because so that your work will not look rough. So this right here is the point of intersection. So I haven't got to the point of intersection, which is here. So let me call this point P. So now we don't need to draw a line that is perpendicular to line 3, 4. So what we just do is you pick, bring back your compass and use it to get 
the length uh, of this circle here i mean the radius of the circle because they are equal circles so once you've gotten that you bring it to point p and then you use it to draw the circle so with that now we've been able to draw uh, the first circle and the second circle now to save to save time so what i advise to do is that you first of all bisect all the sides you bisect it bisect it to get the center so that once you are drawing the circle you just draw the circle circle once so that's what we've done to this point to this side and to this side of this uh octagon you go ahead and repeat the same process for the remaining side so i won't be going through it just to save time so i just want to put you through on how to do it and like i said earlier if you are working with small sides you have to be careful so that your work will not look rough so make sure all your measurements are accurate so that your circles will be touching each uh, two other circles and one side of the polygon so if you find this video helpful uh please give it a thumbs up if you are yet to subscribe do make sure you subscribe to pa academy uh, if you have any video requests or any question for me just leave them in the comment section below so I also encourage you to check our playlist on technical drawing. There are more videos there that will help you, if you are, especially if you are new to technical drawing or engineering drawing. So just check our playlist on technical drawing. Uh, you'll find the helpful resources there. Also check our website, paacademy.co, paacademy.co. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.